what's up it's your favorite and php and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be going over my interview process and credentialing So today I am going to be answering a question, uh, how did my interview process go as well as the credentialing process. I am so nervous, so nervous, so scared. I have butterflies the whole time up until I even have the interview, like I'm nervous all day. How I prepared for this interview, I googled questions, I googled questions, common interview questions, common healthcare interview questions i just had a list of questions and basically i answered them and so what i did i studied my answers and basically memorized it i memorized it just as though i was taking a test so when i went in i'll be comfortable I'll, i won't be so nervous and the information will just like roll off my tongue because i already know it like i memorized it so that's what i did to prepare for this um, my interview for this position i interviewed with three attendings and the secretary of you know our department so a total of four but a, but two at a time so the first two were were the doctors and it was so laid back like they it began by just asking me where i came from what school i went to um why did i come back to um to the city and then he just went on to talk about himself so i interviewed with the two doctors for one was a little bit late so um, while we were sitting there that's when we were talking back and forth and um just about you know our history where we came from with city with school and things like that or was i at so yeah it was just so laid back so comfortable i'm like sitting there in my chair waiting for them to ask the questions that i memorized and it wasn't until the end the second doctor that had came in late was just like i guess now it's time for the real interview questions and he's like so what are your strengths what are your weaknesses I told him what it was because i memorized it there wasn't no hesitation there wasn't no um you know there was no pause no silence i was able to let them know like i said it was just so comfortable like i felt like we knew each other for a long long time so the second two came in and same thing they told me about their um where they went to school how long they've been working here and i told them about myself the last doctor that I seen, he's actually she's actually the head of the department, and he had asked me a question, and this question could like make or break your interview. Why, why healthcare? Why did you choose healthcare? And I'm just like, hmm. I'm like because I like caring for people. I like caring for people. I watch my mom and dad care for people, and it's just you know in me, and that's all I know is caring for people. And he was like, good. I like to hear that and then he goes on to tell me a story he had asked that same question to someone and they had their response was because i like to place ivs he's like no obviously he did not get the job and i'm like who would say that like who's in healthcare and only in healthcare because they like to place ivs like usually your number one response is like you care you like to care for people you're a nurturer no not this gentleman but yeah so just in case you're new grads or you'll you fellow NP students, if you're asked that question, it's because you like to care for people. So, um, yeah, I don't know what that person was thinking. Like, come on, you could ace the test. Before I, I actually walked out the office, the secretary that had interviewed me, so we were now like by the door and I was about to leave. And she's like, hey, let me know. You could email me and let me know. And I could show you a um, couple places around the city for my kids. And I'm just like, who would offer that if I did not get hired? So like I said, wonderful experience. I did prep, I did study. I just Googled common interview questions. That just reminded me when I interviewed for a hospital, um, when I was a nurse, they had asked me medical question. There was like a heparin medical question. Like if a patient comes in with a clot, what's the drug of choice? And I'm just like, heparin? But it's like, why are you asking me? Like I already took my boards. I showed that you, I, I passed. Like I, I don't know, I already went to schooling. I interviewed, I didn't think, they were supposed to ask you medic any like medical questions and and maybe that's why i was just extremely nervous for this because it's like i'm a new np they better not ask me any like diagnosis questions in my interview but they didn't it was nothing like that at all so like i said one for experience so now with the credentialing Credential credentialing 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 so with the credentialing um am i saying that right it sounds so weird with that, um, it's different for all hospitals. Here, it actually took three months. So I got hired in November. The credentialing process did not finish until like January. Um, I started January 27th, which was actually early. It wasn't supposed to um, be c completed until February. So credentialing is basically a bunch of paperwork just showing 
proof that you are able to practice as a nurse practitioner in the state. Um, you're able to prescribe, so you have to get your DEA number, and it's just a lot. It's like basically another long application. Like I said, it's a lot of paperwork that you're signing. That's the time you're signing your standard agreement act. That's the time you're requesting extra privileges if um, you're wanting extra privileges. I was approved to practice. They checked everything. Everything came out, you know, the truth that I went to college. I sat for the boards. I passed all my, you know, um, basic life support um, training. And you just show them proof. You can show them copies of everything, copies of your your certification. Uh, I think the process is long because it has to be reviewed by board members of your facility. And they go through it and basically approve you or disapprove you. So yeah, it's just like a long paperwork process. And like I said, it's different for different um, all facilities. My facility, they told me it takes three months and which it, it did. My friend who um, worked at another hospital here, um, she was actually able to um, practice but not um, prescribe. I forget what her situation was, but she was able to be in the hospital sooner than I was, but she was limited. I believe she wasn't able to prescribe or she couldn't have her own like patient loads, but she was able to still shadow basically and be in the hospital where mine has to be completely completed before I was able to even step foot in the hospital. So, but like it's, there's nothing to it, but just know that every um, hospital system is different in terms of the amount of time it takes for your, uh, for the credentialing process. Because when I was hired, I needed to work right away and that wasn't the case. Like I was like, yes, I got hired in November, about to start in two weeks. When she said three months, I was like, oh, wow, I wasn't expecting it. And like, I, and I don't know if my school mentioned this because I did not know. They probably mentioned it. I wasn't paying attention or that may have been the class I um, had to skip. But um, it, it is it does take a long time for the credentialing process. So, yes, yeah, so that um, will conclude this video. Um, Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. You guys know what to do. And turn on the notification so you never miss a video with your favorite NPHP.